Hey everyone, I'm Peggy, and today I'm going to show you 10 powerful chord progressions you can use in your songwriting. If you want to follow along with this video, you can find a MIDI pack in the description below. West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home, country roads. These are powerful chord progressions because they're a great starting point for songwriting. Stick around and I'll show you which one is my favorite. Which one's my personal favorite, Anthony? Okay, cool. This is the best chord progression anyone's ever come up with. I'll be playing all of the chord progressions in C major, but later on, I'll show you a great technique in Ableton to help you use any key. Number one is the most popular chord progression. One, five, six, four. This is one of the most common chord progressions used in popular music. Think of songs like Adele's Someone Like You, Journey's Don't Stop Believing, or John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads. Let me show you how this sounds over a beat. This chord progression is so popular because it's one of the most versatile. Each of the chords brings in a new layer of emotional intensity, and it's great for storytelling. Number two is sad but uplifting. Six, five, four, five. Starting with a minor triad hooks the listener and makes them want to keep listening. But overall, this chord progression is quite uplifting. It's used in a lot of songs. Think of Rihanna's s and or Lady Gaga's Marry the Night. This progression is really interesting because it never goes back to the tonic. It feels like you're on a journey and you never quite get home. Number three is the storyteller. One, four, six, five. This chord progression starts with two really strong major chords and then moves to a minor chord, creating a sense of loss. Finally, it resolves to the fifth, giving you a sense of closure. This chord progression is used in a lot of great songs like Summer of 69 by Brian Adams, Skyscraper by Demi Lovato, or No Sleep by Wiz Khalifa. I mentioned earlier that there's a really easy way to change the key of the chords in Ableton. What you can do is grab the pitch plugin from the MIDI effects and drag that onto the track that you're working on. Now you can change the whole key of the song by semitones. Now that I've done this, the song is in E flat major, but the MIDI notes are still in C major. Number four is the bass player's progression. One, two, seven, one, six, four. The rising bass line really gives a sense of hope. This chord progression is used in a lot of songs that you know and love, like Blackbird by the Beatles, Ray of Light by Madonna, or Nicki Minaj's The Night Is Still Young. The first chord of this progression is the one chord, C. Then it's followed by two, seven. The seven means that you count up seven notes from the root of the chord, D, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you end up with C and you tack that on to your triad. The next chord is the one chord again, but this time it's a one, six. The six means that I'm gonna take the second note of the chord and put that in the bass. In this case, it's an E. So I'm gonna build the rest of C major from there. Number five is jazz it up. One, six, two, five. This chord progression is a staple in jazz music and it's often used in what we call the turnaround. The turnaround is how we get from the end of the song back to the beginning. This chord progression has a pretty traditional sound, but it's still used in songs today. For instance, John Mayer's Back to You or Fluorescent Adolescent by the Arctic Monkeys. Number six is The Journey. Four, one, six, five. This is a really happy sounding progression and it feels like you're going somewhere and you've almost arrived. This chord progression is used in ACDC's You Shook Me All Night Long and Radiohead's Black Star. This chord progression uses all major chords and it has a moving bass line. 
Remember that six in the chord? That means that the second note of the chord is the lowest note, and you're gonna build the rest of your triad on top of that. Number seven, secondary dominance. Four, five, five of six, and six. This chord progression sounds like we're taking a quick turn, and the E major triad sounds really powerful and dramatic. This chord progression is used in Billy Joel's Uptown Girl, Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen, and Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. Is it the, the Bugles? The Buggles? The Buggles? Uh-oh. Buggles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen for the E major chord in this progression. It comes from outside of the key of C major, and that's what makes it sound so dramatic. Number eight is the epic progression. One, flat six, five. You can really feel the distance between the chords here, and it turns the emotional intensity dial up to 11. It's used in songs like Pink Floyd's Eclipse or Everybody by the Backstreet Boys. All right! You'll notice that there's a flat sign next to the sixth chord, and it's capitalized. Normally, the sixth chord is minor. The capital means that you're gonna make it a major chord. And the flat means that you shift the whole thing down by half a step. So you end up with A flat major. Number nine is the minor change. Four, minor four, one. I mentioned before that I was gonna share with you my favorite chord progression, and this is it. I love it because it's so dramatic and brings a lot of depth to what you're writing. I love this chord progression. You can use it in a lot of ways. Tack it onto the end of a chord progression to make your whole vibe sound a little sadder. Or you can start with it and it holds its own. This chord progression is used in songs like Crazy by Aerosmith or One, Two, Three, Four by The Plain White Tees. This chord progression has two four chords. One is major and one is minor. The second one is called a borrowed minor because we borrow it from the key of C minor. Number 10, trap chords. One, six, one, five. This is a really popular chord progression that's used on a lot of trap beats. It's dark and it's really good for writing melodies. Listen for it in your favorite trap songs and let us know what you find. The one in this chord progression is lowercase, and that means that it's a minor chord. In fact, the entire progression is in a minor key. Use this moody progression over a fire beat, and you'll have a great trap song. What's your favorite chord progression? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get the latest from Lander.